Welcome back to Railroads Online. I am River, and I have made it back down to the smelter with a couple new train cars. So if those of you who watched the last episode turned into a bit of a mess where we ended up losing a car, we derailed, the, well, we, we lost the coupling, it went down the hill, one of the cars fell off down the ravine, and then I couldn't get it back onto the tracks, and then it disappeared into the earth, and that was it. It was 60 minutes, we're up. And so we stop. So when life gives you lemonade, you make lemon. Or I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. When life makes you lemon, gives you lemons, you make lemonade. I'll get it right. So here we are. And the lemonade is we are off up there where we have three extra rails. So we need three extra beams. So what we have, for those of you who haven't followed, is we want 10 cars of beams. And you can see right there, there's three and four is seven plus another two is nine. And then there's one is 10. But if we bring 11, we'll bring 33 up and that'll rebalance the load. I also bought two extra of these cars while I was at the shop. So that when it comes to bringing more stuff, we can actually carry 50 of these beams, which will cut down on the number of trips we need to the oil field. So hopefully once we're on the flats up there, but from the sawmill down to the oil field, we should be able to easily pull... 17 cars so 17 times 3 is 51 so we'll be able to take a train that's even two cars longer than this i hope down to the oil field and again that'll make it if we're doing 100 if we need 150 or we need a hundred yeah if we need two trips it'll save us the third trip right that we'll have maybe a couple extra so we'll have to do a little bit more of a balancing act because that's a tight tight drop-off location. But anyway, I stopped right here because I wanted to check. Yeah, see, I got two links in there. So we'll get that one. We've got a link in there. Another thing I've been trying to mention to you guys, not trying to mention, but thing I was trying that I wanted to mention is I have been trying to park these trains. Now, this one, it doesn't matter because I didn't think of it before that but if you push them all together when you park them like say, say set the brake on the last one and then get back in here and then jam them together and then set the brakes on like the first one all right so we would have set this brake after we jammed them all together does that help them from like separating is it worth doing that probably because it's not hard to get out and set the set the first one if that makes sense like you have to run down to get the last one i'm just going to check we had such a fiasco with these brakes and cars i just want to make sure i didn't leave any it's been a day since i recorded the last episode so had a nice thanksgiving dinner i hope you guys did i know this is a few days later after thanksgiving if you're american and if you're not i hope you had a nice day on thursday anyway I think Thanksgiving is a nice holiday because it's not all Christmas is nice too, but it's all promotion and I don't know a lot of gift buying and all that kind of craziness goes on shopping and all right, so there we go. We should be ready to try to go up there again. <laughs> Feel. I don't know. Let's see how much fire we have here. No fire, but we have you know, no water temperature. Okay, that's just great. But you know what? Let me pause it. I'm going to... Let me just fill this up with its... One, two, three. That should be enough. Get rid of the rest. Yep, 80. All right, let me pause it until we get heat. It'll just be like one second. I'll just even cut it out in a way you might not even notice. Except the temperature will be magically higher. All right, there we are. Magically, we have temperature. Let's go forward. 9%. How about a little bit more? We have a big train to pull up this hill. I don't even know if that's not going to cause us other issues, but we're going to get it straightened out. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't lose any into the earth. It would be... I don't know. It would have been nice to see this parked up by the depot i guess it's just an error like you would think the game could keep track of of something like that 
And again, I, is this even realistic anymore with changes they may have made? I haven't really been following too much what other people are complaining about. Enough complaining goes on about little things that the big things can get missed, right? Like the boy who cried wolf. Now we should be switched fine because I pulled in this way and I backed it in. That's one of the reasons I didn't have any temperatures because I... From the time I backed in, I guess I dilly dallied too long in getting the video started. And, but I had to flip the switches. Now, I'm still sort of debating whether we come right back here and get a few loads of beams, but I guess it's better to go down and not necessarily. I don't think there's that much advantage to dragging the beams with us. The advantage to it would be that when we come back, we'll pull right in here, load up the beams. We can then do our switching and then head back out. Otherwise, we have to stop on this hill, flip these switches, and then head over to the back to the sawmill, which is fine. But in this case, we're going to also want to. In this case, we're going to also want to drop off one of these cars. We don't need to drag that back and forth. Now, I'll probably do these other trips by myself unless we have some specific issue. We are. Checked all the brakes. I know these brakes weren't on, so I just checked those. Give it a little more juice now that we're out there. I feel like we're pulling a train now. hardly see the end. I need to cut trees down now to see the end of my train, but it looks like all the cars are coming with us. <laughs> so, let's keep our fingers crossed that our new new thing up here works. I don't think you guys haven't even seen it. We never even made it up there at the end. Let's cut that down a little bit. Here we go. So I redid it from about this point right up here. So it should be a lot, not less steep, kind of the whole way. It's still steep, but. See that? So the turn used to come up right here. You go up that like steep part. So now you can see that's a lot less steep swings around and then comes back up there, switch back. Take it slow on his first trip through, right? Keep an eye on the rail cars. And Going through at 55 is not, not a bad clip. This is a little bit uphill to a point about here, and then it gets level. I don't want to go. I got a switch right here, so this is now how we go up to the iron mine, and this is how we're going to turn this way, of course. We go up to the coal mine. That's how they look coming through here. The switches are always a thing, and then at some point around here, it starts going back uphill again. But this is off level right at the top there, which is nice, right? As you're doing your switching, you can, if we had the switch on our way back down, we can stop more or less in a level spot. All right, let me be quiet. This this should be, hopefully, pretty 
straightforward. We used to do well through here. So. Yep, they're all on there. I can see the last three cars are still attached. So, All right, let me jack her up and see what we can do.
All right. <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed, but our fire temperature is about to go out, and this is probably as good a spot as any. And the funny thing is, this is where I would typically have to stop with the with the porter, so I'm not sure if it's exactly a coincidence. And the reason we have to stop is because we can't put firewood in. By the time I try to go through the whole fiasco that is putting firewood in, it seems to be the word of the day, right? Let's see, three more, would that be... 68. So did I miss one? Let's get another. Fill it all the way up. Close enough. All right, it's so back on our way. So the next part that I'm probably the most nervous about, there's one turn back there that's right near a bridge that's pretty sharp. That had me a little nervous. We made it through it at a pretty good clip, but this this is the other one that would make me a bit nervous here. And there is no doubt that this has better braking, which is great because, to be honest, that's as much of a limiting factor as being able to pull up a hill, right? If you can't stop going down these hills, it doesn't make that much difference if you can go up them. So, but this hill, this turn's got me a little nervous, but we'll see. Let's see what it looks like from this way. I think I can take my brake down a bunch. Yeah, see how that's... Yeah, I definitely want to redo that one. Hopefully we don't have problems. The The whole goal for me is to get these 200 oil barrels done. Things like, you know, the, the breaking of the links on that turn back there, which did go pretty well. I'm very happy with that. That it will have to fix just to get the job done, but to ramp things up. But then I would like to fix some of these other things as we have time. Just barely see the end of the train. <laughs> see if they're all still attached, and they are. So I think we should be okay through most of this. There is the tight turn right up at the end of this, right there. So I'm gonna give it more gas where we can't hear. But... That's too sharp right there, too. Ah, can't get up on the train. <laughs> At least it's not going to go too far, right? Come on, let me up. I'm at home of the crouch. <laughs> right, let's just set a break. Huh. Let's set two breaks. Set as many breaks as it takes. To stop us going down the hill. You don't think of that as that such a turn. I didn't think I was going that fast, but. All right, we stopped. Yeah, this turn down here, that's definitely too tight. And apparently this one, not sure what we could do about this one. This one, I think we maybe just have to go slower and probably straighten it out a little bit, right? Like, But it, we're kind of boxed in. You know, I could definitely swing it over into here a bit. Okay, well, that could have certainly been worse. Oop, do we got it? I didn't get it. I 
I saw somebody talking about not understanding this. See how we're facing the wrong way? If you left click and hold, it should should flip it around. Alright, see how it's now flipped the other way? And I right click and drop it. And fortunately because we effed out of there. Um we should be now. I don't know why it keeps giving me that link. Like it turns this into that other kind of link that we don't need. Alright, I don't know if you notice that. Let's get out of in here. Yeah, that was just speed, so we'll have to talk about redoing that turn, I guess, a little bit. So we should be back in business. Uh, can't get up there too easy. Let's see. No idea which ones of these I've set and which ones I didn't. So I'm just going to have to go down until that one I did. Whoa. <laughs> Jumping bean. I don't think I set these, but I'm just checking because I'm in a mode of checking. I don't want to fall off the train because I know I can get back on at a certain point. I'm not sure if I can get back on. For all the things that we can climb right up, I do kind of wish we could go up a little more of these walls. Like it's. Alright, so let's see. Uh, should I just. We're, we're pretty close. Let me just throw a little more firewood in there just for the sake of. All right, so 77 was too fast. Isn't that about what we were doing? And that just, I saw that thing rolling over almost in slow motion. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like I wasn't paying attention. Just, I didn't react. I'm not sure that there could have been much I'd do. Once I saw that the wheels were off the track, I think it was probably, probably a bit too late by that point. So we'll just have to notice tune that down a little bit. Now, hey, that's one of the ways you can find out how fast is too fast. Good thing is we didn't make a complete mess of it. We lose rail cars. later they finally pull into the we are hardly the Japanese railroad system here we are we have blown like I think the Japanese were late by like like two minutes in a whole year on the one rail line they have that is not our record but I really slowed down coming it, I know it's like it does get a little steeper coming in here I didn't expect it to slow down that much all right, now this one, for all it's not looking like it, is lined up perfectly. So when you go to drop off, if you stop at the one place, you are in line with the other place. 
I'm not quite sure why they wouldn't do that at each of the ones, but each of the different drop-off and pickups. Alright, so we have what? Four four beams, which is good. The fact that we're pulling in this way means we'll drop off some beams. Let's see, we have zero beams. Quite a bit. It's definitely a lot harder to see when that's lined up. And that looks pretty close. Let's hop out. So I'll show you. Let's see if my spreadsheet was right. Yes. And I remember that we, you guys may remember, we lost one train car when we were coming up here at one point. And uh, that's why we have three extra rails. So we just, we should be correcting that situation here shortly. This extra car right there that we put on will... Right now we actually still have 10 beam cars, so the rest of it should be evened out. Let's see how we're doing. Yep, the spreadsheet was correct in saying that we had 37 coals, which is good. I'm not sure it makes too much difference. We're going to need 150 of it. So that'll be my task as we get done. But let me go ahead and unload all of these. And we will come back when... When said thing is done, I should have a lot of marks here, though I guess with this little bit longer train, I might need to put a few more of these markers in the ground. I would really wish that this tender was the same exact length as a car. I guess I should get used to what's exactly right, right? Because I could stop short here, right, if I know. That's pretty close to, to right. Yeah, so maybe, like, when we stop... Let's see, we're too far back, right? Yeah, a little bit. I could have stopped a little bit sooner. So just about this wheel here would be the same thing as a cart length. Yeah, so that, that, and I don't want to change it because I imagine every every one of these tenders and engines is going to probably be a little different. So it's I'm not sure which. Maybe one day if we settled in on certain engines on certain routes. Let's see how this works one more time, right? We're still on lumber, yeah. This is just going to be time consuming. Save some time on the trip back up. So right there would be. And yeah, pretty close. They're not that exact. I mean, it doesn't, we're not, as long as it's in the ballpark here, we're in great shape. All right, well, let me unload the rest of this and we should end up with, well, we have the, okay, we're at 40 right now. And we should end up with another 30 when I get all done. So we should end up with 70 coal up here. So each trip's going to be 30 more. So we'll have 70, 100, 120. Yeah, so we're going to have just enough coal, which is kind of plus or minus, because what if we mess up loading? We'll just have to come back up with another one of these, I guess. All right, guys, I'll see you uh, when I get done unloading this. There we go. We got rid of all of our cargo, and we now have 70 coal, and we got rid of our little imbalance here as well. So we no longer have an imbalance. Every time we come up, as long as we bring 13 cars, three with rails and 10 with beams, we'll be in good shape. So now the only minor issue, not even really an issue, but I need to drop off one of these cars back down at the Grand Intersection. So then we'll have three extra I'm sorry, four extra down there, right? So, yeah, four. So we'll have 17 cars total when we go to take stuff down. I hope to the... If I did my math wrong, then I'll deal with it. Our, I was talking a little bit. We were letting our pressure come up. I think we can get started. Should, shouldn't should need too much pressure on the way down. This should be more of a braking exercise. And I'm definitely feeling like this turn is starting to get tight for... Like, yeah, like I can see cars popping up when I was maneuvering on this turn. I think we're fine as long as you're just sort of gently going forward like we are. But this is a very tight car turn for 14 cars, I think. And the more cars you have, like the more tension you're going to have on it. So if we come in the other way, yeah. 
that, that might get very interesting. Now we could probably change this up a bit, right, and swing this wider. But we're also on that hill there, so we're, you know, this is sort of the way it wants to be to a degree, but if we have to, I think we could do something. If there's a little bit more of a flat spot in there, but maybe we swing it this way and then around it in. We'll see. I think this just worked, right? So no sense in. We got enough little problems without dreaming up new ones <laughs> that aren't actually causing us problems. Give a little gas go. We got our pressure back up fully. Yeah, I'm going to go without the fuel. Like I said, I think we're going to get up to 400. If we have to stop someplace, I think we'll be all right because it's almost all downhill to the smelter at least. By the time we get to there, we can always stop. Or if we want to stop on the our new flat spot on our switchback. Certainly don't need water. I didn't realize this thing filled up to 5,000. <laughs> so we got, we've got plenty of water. But if we did use 1,000 of it, and that was some of me maneuvering down in the, you know, that was getting all the way back from the, the depot. Oh, did you see that? I don't know if that was because of my braking or, but that whole, look at that rail car just jumping around. The, the tender car, I mean. Yeah, that was, we're going to have to be careful, I think. It's a lot of, a lot more weight than I'm used to. You know, until we make improvements, I don't need to be re-railing cars constantly. Push it a little bit. We have to go the other way. Now, part of this is a bit annoying is that it's it's just very hard to tell what kind of a slope you're on. It's all downhill. I'm getting used to these brakes. I see why people complain more about how fine the braking. Like this does need. To, I think. I would really like to see the regulator and the brake be on some kind of a longer thing so that you could, you know, I would almost do them this way so that they would fit. Ooh, Gotta pay attention to like, so we could have a little bit more room to like, you know, like accurately. Cause it problem is like pixels, right? Like there's the difference between one pixel and two pixels is, is is an amount you know so it's kind of hard plus this is just just having to guess where the thing is it'd just be nice if that was improved a bit maybe they'd want to be difficult about it let's see how are we doing yeah this locomotive does not like that turn and like i said there's we could make it a little bit less but it's not the easiest one either this one though needs to change this one that's just way too sharp. I'm not sure that... See, like, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it was like that, but... Yeah, we need to definitely change that one. I think I may run up and down a lot of the tracks as part of our fix-it and just go redo, spend hours redoing it. But let's also see how the game develops, right? So... If they're going to give us new tools and new stuff, I will slow down on making episodes here for that reason, if nothing else, because we've kind of done all the content, which we kind of have, especially after we've done these 200 barrels of oil, like, or 200, <laughs> we got 200 barrels of oil, like how many, I mean, we could, what, 2,000 barrels of oil? I'm not sure that I'm in for that kind of challenge on an early access game. You know, maybe we come back and do some more of that kind of stuff when they've added more content, like passengers and whatever else they've talked about. Give a little gas here because we're coming up on that bridge. I think we should make it up fine. I think it's 6%. It's no worse than the one that's by the smelter. The only, only issue is there's 
this turn at the bottom. It's kind of tough. Yeah, we're up it. Could have gave it a little more right there, I realized. We were doing okay. I was kind of curious to see how that worked out. There's certain sections that are subtly more downhill that you could just get going too fast. This is where I'd really like to have some signs because the signs would just help me like know where this little bit like this might be a little bit steeper than where we were. See how that's downhill? So that that's probably even too steep right there. We kind of need to fix this, make it a lot more gradual. See how we dive downhill here? You can see it in the car is kind of swooping down maybe a little bit. So if you've got your regulator going pretty good, you can definitely get over speed and just derail if had that happen. A little warning sign would be excellent. A little yellow sign would be all I'd need or color-coded signs. This is the other turn I worry about. See the way that car, I don't know if you noticed that one rocking. Pretty good one there. So we need to fix that one too. So there's the one up there. There's the tight, the, the hairpin turn. Then there's that other just too sharp. And then there's this. would be three things that I would improve. This is, could be straightened out too here.
this is the part. See how we're starting to vibrate? There you go. I don't pull them all off. <laughs> yeah. I thought I I didn't hit the brakes, but I thought I had maybe slowed down enough to prevent that. And it's like you can see, we're just buzzing along, not doing anything too different from what we had done previously. Let's get this guy, I guess, on first, right? Make sure we put him on the right way. Why are you not coming? Hmm. Tender. Okay. Wait, why did it come up? Why did it say Cook Mogul? That's kind of, I was wondering that. Like, it seemed like yeah, it seemed like you would want to differentiate the two. But all right. So let's see. Yeah, this is the right way. Put that brake on. Pull this pin out. I guess you, I don't know, that's still in there. I think that's the link, huh? Let's get these guys reattached first, even though it's... All right. <laughs> All right. Let me re-rail these. I think you guys have seen enough re-railing in your lives, probably. It shouldn't be too bad, as long as we can get them to go the right way, right? If I can get this to... See, this one's got a link, so if I can see that, I'll show you what I mean. Because right? they should slide down this hill. And now it says tender again. Why does it say tender? Flat car. All right, if I can get that guy, yeah, say so I'll flip him around, left click. And then he should have a link. Now, does this guy already have a link? Of course. There you go. Now he doesn't. All right, so we should be able to put this back together pretty easy, just using gravity to help me. I don't have to wait for each one, but I'll show you guys. Well, you get the idea, I think, probably. Yes, that worked out nicely. All right, well, I'll keep doing that until we're back in business. I'll probably have to set the rails so they don't squeeze themselves together, but set the brakes, I mean, on this one. All right, are you on? Yeah, he looks on, so we'll see. We don't want this guy to glide forward, right? And we'll set both of these since they're right there. So I'll, I'll get these put back together and see you in a second. Got them all back. And the worst part was I kind of was riding the trails and I jumped in front of it and then the train ran over me and stuck me in, in it, like right here. So I had to respawn run all the way back here. Now I think everybody's attached and I think we're in good shape. I should have probably put some more fire in here, but I didn't think of that. So we're going to give it. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be downhill enough here. We got a little bit of steam to get started, right? So, yeah, that's just a steeper grade. And I'm, I was thinking on my run back here, do we, can I make it just so it's more obvious that this is the danger spot? Because I have derailed there before for a very similar reason where, you know, for the most part, you can go down here with just light brakes or just even a little bit of thing. But that, that just must be getting that much steeper, like a 4 or 5% grade for long enough that it's that it's a problem. And I just can't tell the difference between one mile and the next, right? So it's just, it kind of sneaks up on me. 
and it has been a while since I played. I, I don't want to have to go down the whole the whole thing with my brakes on. If you know, I kind of want to max out the speed a bit. And for me, that's going to be making it more obvious when I'm in that danger zone when I can go exactly what speed because otherwise I don't that just killed any speed I had for the next three runs right like that's the other thing about it because I had to run across the map this is like you know it's like a half hour later from when I when we first crashed there so yeah this is nice though I'm very happy with this change I like the fact that we cut the corner at the beginning that was you know made sense at the time but this is much better this makes more sense now, especially with the longer trains trying to go up that steep grade and this tight turn on top of it. We can give it a little bit more. Like this. It's a little bit tight right there, but not. You can see that car is kind of swinging around, but you could always make it more gradual. I guess that's one thing is you get certain trains and certain speeds that you tend to want to go up because sometimes you're just going slow for other reasons. Just like the fact that you're going around a turn there, you wouldn't be going too fast. So if it's it's not perfect, it doesn't always matter. We didn't lose any into the earth. That's good, too. That was odd. That's the first time I had that. I've heard of people complaining about that kind of thing. But it's the first time I also lost one down a cliff so far. So I'm wondering if that didn't have something to do with it. The height difference from the when it was kind of bringing it back up. Yeah, you can see that bounce and... I definitely want to redo that. Oh, 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 no, no, come on. Really? No, 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 no. Boy, this has just been one tough trip. You know, and I talk about redoing these things, and... Yeah, so like I'm hoping that that tender's not gone forever, right? Like, I just got done saying that I wonder if it has something to do with the, with the downhill. I guess we could maybe try to attach this guy. Oh, we don't have a link in here, do we? Yeah, so I guess we need to get these guys off the rails. This guy looks like he's... Oh, and all of this made that much more difficult because we're on a bridge. We'll just do two breaks. Did everybody else come along? I thought I saw them bouncing around up here, but they look pretty good. We may have broke a link or something, but yeah, there we go again. Look at that. So I'm hoping the biggest issue, I just got done saying that. So let me, let me re-straighten this out, and then I'll come back when I'm about to try to put that tender back on. But I'll need to pull this guy forward and just get these couple a little bit straightened. And then... And we'll see if we can't get those up onto the bridge, I guess. Not sure how well this is going to work out. Wait a minute. Well, I pushed these cars up. Got a couple of them re-railed. And now I'm going to go see how this works out. So we got three more we need to fit. But let's see if we can't get this guy. I don't want a flat car. Can I just switch like this? Or can I? There we go. Tender. Part of, part of the problem is we're running out of... Oh, I didn't do that. I didn't click anything. Yeah, this is... I'm running into the same problem. And this is severe, too, because... Now, fortunately, I saved, but I don't know how to fix this. So I think I'm going to go and see if I can figure out how to fix this at this point, because... I did save it right before, like seconds before, so I can go right back to to where I started recording. Now look at this. There we go. Crash. 
Let's try this again. <laughs> I actually, I don't know, I don't remember saving, but when I respawned, apparently it saved it at this spot. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouse, but anyway, here we are. The mouse or mouth? Okay, let me put in some more fire like we did before. We're just going to do it all over again. Just a lot slower. That was two. Let's do one more. Yep, 78. That's the max. 5,000 water. So let's just see. I don't want the reverser on. Let's do break. All right, we'll get rolling, and we'll just repeat. Rather than worry about it too much, I sent my error report in. Um, you know, I definitely make move every time. Like, the plus and minus of this is you're going to get more episodes of Fix the Rails. <laughs> so... I think that we may go up and down this rail before I try to take these next four trips. And then that'll give us an excuse to drag some more stuff up there when we get done this one. But this is this will have been an epic voyage. You know, I've been trying to cut it out, keep the... I don't want to say... I don't want to keep it short, but I've been trying to keep, you know, a lot of the extra stuff I've done out of the equation because it gets pretty boring at, at some points if I don't. Oh, and I did, the way I did it this time, I didn't respawn, I deleted one of the cars. So we now only have 13 cars. So, which is kind of okay, because, you know, it, it cost me 250 bucks. But it was, at this point, when your frustration level with these things starts going up, sometimes it's good to treat yourself in life, right? So, you know what, I'm not running all the way back across the map. Because it wasn't an easy way to go, either, because there was, like, mountains in between. So, you hard to even run past that path so we're gonna do much slower I, I was thinking we could twice we derailed because of speed and I think it has something to do with this tender because it's like the tender goes nuts first and then like the rest happened and that was sort of what happened in both cases so so we just need now I wonder if we could put the brake on the tender or something that if you guys have any advice on how to I mean, I don't want to run around the brake on it, but, like, coming back down this hill, does it... I heard, have heard people talk about putting on the brakes on some of the cars, and really, until we got down to the smelter, that would make a lot of sense. And we have to flip the switch at the smelter anyway, so I'm not so sure that it's not a bad idea anyhow to to do that. Now, we don't really actually need the extra braking. I think we're doing fine with the, the engine. If there was any error on speed, it was just me. Me not keeping it under control. All right, we're just going to go. Because I can see, the, see this thing bouncing around? Like... that I mean it's just wanting to go over I guess it's just the weight of all those cars behind it yeah so definitely I think it's just I think it's just too tight of a turn right there so we're gonna fix that that's making a lot of noise yeah I think we're gonna redo this bridge we're gonna go up and just you know, do some things to mark out that speed, maybe maybe rethink about the grading so that it's more obvious when we're going up and down hills and just more consistent throughout that whole run up there. And then there's those couple tight spots that I pointed out. So there's a lot of rail work. So if you don't get another one of these 100, 200 barrels of oil videos, you'll see some more <laughs> fix the rail line up to the the coal mine, I think, is in order here. Because, yeah, that'll drive me nuts if I have to go through this every time on the way up there. Three more times at least. And, again, we're, if we go three more times, we're going to have just enough. Now, the other side of that, wait, do we have, oh, yeah, we have no steel pipes. So, 
we are definitely going to need 150 coal. So if we make one mistake on loading up the coal, we're not going to get our 150 pipes. Do we want to cut it that close or just take an extra trip up there and have an extra 30 for future? The stress level be much lower. Yeah, let's just give it full breaks. It stops well. I think I think there's something going on in that particular sp overspeed that this is just not as stable as those rail cars. Maybe it's because the the height of it, right? If there's a higher center of gravity, that would do it. Now I'm almost positive that I flipped this one. But since I've been so, yep, that's flipped. So we'll head right on over back to the thing. And then we don't have to drop off the extra. I guess that there's always a silver lining. I don't have to, which would have taken a fair amount of time. Like going all the way in there to drop off the one car would have been a moderate pain. Rather not have gone through it and had to lose that car, but. $250 is not that much money to us these days. And three more trips up there. Like, even this rail building is not going to cost us that much. Yeah, these downhill turns, we got to watch those with this with this tender. But, hey, you know what? After, after the frustration leaves, like, even getting back into it this morning, after being a bit frustrated with this whole process yesterday let me keep that quiet for a second i definitely feel like you know ready to get back into the challenge so i will be there soon I feel like I'm pulling in after a long road trip. It's a bit of an epic journey for us, even though it wasn't any more than a little journey. It wasn't even our longest journey we'll have to make, because we're going to have to be going up there to get the coal and bring it all the way down. So, And I definitely want to be able to, if it's if the question is, like, do we do less rail cars or better track, there's not even really a question for me. We're doing better track, right? So we're going to take it to the next level is what I think it needs to be done. The, uh, you know, that's all part of the fun of this game, I think. It's just that it's, it is a challenge, and it's, it just does not 
it is just not forgiving. <laughs> you know, like, if you want to go fast even with your trains, you know, it is just not forgiving. That's, uh, hey, I'm smiling through it, right? That's the important part. Yeah, that, that needs to be fixed. And I feel like that was worse than it was before. So I think they are, ma it's my belief that they're making changes that could affect the way these tracks are. And then, of course, I don't really know the pros and cons of this. This tender is really what I think is potentially causing some of the issues. Right? We got still got plenty of water. So I would expect that we're going to have some fix-it episodes. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to release because they overlap a little bit. It's kind of good because I didn't want to get too far ahead of one versus the other, right? Yeah, to see the way that bounces around just too easy. Maybe that's by design. Maybe it's not. Oh, yeah, the other issue we have here is that we only have a limited number of beams to, before I got to take more lumber someplace, too. So stop in the right place. We're going to call it quits. I'm going to go do some real life stuff. Let's see how I stopped. Eh, we're going to make it. I think we might have to back up a bit. It's, it's kind of odd the way these things load. Let's just see if that gets it. No, of course it's on the back. Yeah, that's the line. And I did. I need to be here. Right, the rail should line up with that tire or wheel. Ah, I'm stuck in the firebox. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that one. Did put it on the back one. That's all right. Well, there we go. And loading, well, I don't know how it'll work out going forward. We're going to go back up to the coal mine going the other way. So but the first four being on there worked out pretty well. It didn't really show you the whole unloading, but definitely you do want to stagger these. I think it does make a difference up there, especially because you're doing one at a time. And that's going to matter. Well, there you go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We finally made it back. It took two parts, but it was my intention to show what it takes to make 200 barrels of oil. I just wish my tracks were more prepared to do it for you. I guess that's all part of the learning experience and hopefully part of your fun, too. I hope you guys have a good day. Take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.